Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a winter outfits edition and uh, yesterday I had posted a story stating that I'm going to do a winter outfits edition video and I'm going to shoot it today and if anybody has any requests so they can kindly <laughs> ask me for it um, that was kind of a flop I mean I obviously knew that already before I even posted it so I ended up getting five requests in total but if you're watching this video you know that I ended up doing it anyway because A I'm shameless B I'm stubborn and C I have real good sportsman spirit so I'm going to do it anyway I will include these five throughout the video and let's get into it so I'm starting with this cute little denim tennis skirt and a cropped sweatshirt and now over this I will put my blazer a pair of high top socks and my pink sneakers tie the color together with the sweatshirt Now for this next outfit, I will be styling these. I have first put on my knit white joggers. Now for layering, it's best that you start with a really tight fitted, like body hugging, like really hugging the top, so that you can you have a base layer that will protect you, but also it will give you space. And it's just like your body, so it will give you space to layer on above it. Okay, now one trick that I'd like to show you guys is for such small neck tops, and especially when you're wearing makeup or like lipstick or lip gloss, and you don't want the makeup to transfer on your white top or like any top. So you take a scarf or a towel, you put it on your face. Then you put your top on. I find it really easy using this technique to wear, like, especially white tops. Windsheeter that will also keep me warm, but it's thin enough that you can layer another uh, heavy duty jacket like this or an overcoat. And if you're still cold, go on. True. I have this very beautiful crochet knit um, scarf. I think when I was really young, someone had knitted for me. I'm really loving this outfit, I have to say, because it's like the perfect white winter outfit. Okay. Next, I'm thinking of like a cottage core type outfit. So I have the summer dress and let's see how I can pair it to mix. 
make it winter friendly. I'm going to keep this white top on and uh, especially like for the colder regions I feel a thermocot would do and get rid of the pants. But you know what, if you have those thermocot, thermocot warm fleece pants, you can keep those on. I have to say I'm liking this cuteness. I'm going to remove the pants for now because it's too warm. outfit. This is another perfect white winter outfit for me and I'm definitely going to wear it because I'm going home soon and it's really cold in Chandigarh so I'll quit. Now for the next outfit I put on some tights my Adidas biker shorts and with the change of scenery I put on this olive knit top instead of the white one. Then on top of this I'm going to layer my sleeveless sweater, turtleneck sweater. Put on some boots and finally I'm going to leather my layer. Leather jacket. Also, you know what would look cute if you put a beanie on top. I can't find mine, so you can just add it on your own. I have this beautiful sweater. I had thrifted this. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to style this up. You'll always find such trousers in wool. And especially if you go thrifting, you'll always find such trousers, woolen trousers. Those are the best because they keep you warm and they're really stylish because they come in different colors and patterns which are really good. So I'm wearing the same knit top, the body hugging top and my pants and on top of that I will wear my sweater. So I'm going to slightly tuck these into my pants so that they don't come undone again and again like so. And add your boots. I'm really liking this whole preppy vibe going on. It looks like a school or like a college boy. But I love it. Oh, actually, this really reminds me of Harry Styles. No wonder I like it. A pair of pearl necklace would look amazing on this, but I don't think I own any pearl necklaces. So instead, what I'm going to do is add these beaded necklaces. I always love styling my summer dresses for winters. So the next one, I'm gonna do that. Looking for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait. So I'm gonna keep this top as an underlayer. I'm gonna keep the necklaces, remove the pants, and add the dress on. Tell me you'll be on soon. I wanna wait no more. Taking a bell. I'm going to create a definition in my waist because it's too bulky right now. It's just now since this is like a denim jacket, so it's pretty heavy duty. And I've already created my waistline, so it's giving me this nice Christian Dior hourglass figure. 
and I think this calls this outfit calls for a big oversized earring. The other one's broken. You know what? I'm just going to wear one and pretend that I have the other one as well. And on this, I'm going to add my zoots back. I kind of feel like a badass in this outfit. <laughs> Let's start with joggers. Charcoal grey, I have white shoes, um, light beige joggers. So the sweatshirt is like the standing point, and this is my most comfortable outfit during winters, like during chilly, chilly winters. And it's not just comfortable it's very practical for running errands and just chilling or just going outside There's my next outfit. I just paired this light blue pantsuit with this lemon yellow hoodie and my pink sneakers. This is an outfit that I've seen a lot of um, gay drama stars wear, and especially also do in the dramas if they're in a um, what do you call it, like a winter cold season and that kind of scene. I've seen them wear, especially men, but I have to say this is really comfortable and really practical. The shoes, the pant covering with the layering, I think it's really comfortable. It won't be my outfits video if there is no denim in it. So it's also really practical for winter, I must tell you, because you can wear at least two layers of warmers or thermocottons like this, and it won't make you out of shape. It will just look so cheap. You know what? Before I add this cardigan, I'm going to add another layer for uh, difference in like patterns, fabric textures light colors so I'm going to add a check shirt it's bleached so when you bleach dark fabric it leaves such reddish rustish uh, stains which will be perfect harmony with this top I'm going to tuck this cross it over and tuck it I just pay these sliders for now because it goes with the color on the top. But if I'd be going out, I'll be wearing my sneakers or I'll put socks on with these, and especially like the fuzzy ones, or wear my boots.
my camera's battery died but for the last outfit I have kept the same um, turtleneck top and the same Zara slouchy jeans and I'm adding a denim jacket to it and over the denim jacket I'll add my big uh, oversized overcoat okay so um, that was the video for today those were all the outfits i had really fun creating those outfits and when it comes to outfits i usually create them as i go instead of like thinking it ahead of time oh you know what i have this and i have that and i'm going to match the a and b together also uh with creating outfits for like whatever season it is it's a lot of trial and error so it's a lot of hit and miss and it's mostly miss for me most of the time because I'm still practicing and that's what I wanted to say that it's very important that you practice and it's just like any other art form you have to practice before you perfect it so it was really fun doing this today and I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like, share and comment. Bye. See you next time.